Are you ready to take your folio maps to the next level? We are going to dive deep into adding GeoJSON and TopoJSON overlays on our folio map. GeoJSON consists of features, latitudes and longitudes that describe the geometry of a certain space and TopoJSON consists of other additional features like the topology. So let's see how we can plot our GeoJSON and TopoJSON files. Let's begin by installing our folium library that we've been using so far and also this time let's import JSON. For our GeoJSON data, I'll be using this URL which consists of all the data points that mark all the rivers and lakes around the world. So let's call upon this dataset URL. Now let me also call upon our map but this time let us call upon the most central view of the entire world map which will definitely be 0 and 0. Within location, I'm going to write 0 and 0. Let me set a zoom start of 3. Let's see what map do we get. Maybe I think I can zoom out further. So let me just set this to zoom 1. Now because I want to add the coordinates of our rivers and lakes using this GeoJSON file that I've downloaded from the internet, I am going to call upon a GeoJSON function. Now I can directly add the URL here, so rivers URL and I'll be adding an extra argument here with the name called name which will be taking in GeoJSON and now like what we did previously, we are going to use the dot add to map function which is going to add whatever GeoJSON overlay we have created using the folium.geoJSON function to our base map. So let me run this. Let me just make this look a little pretty. I will make the zoom start to 2 and I will also add a tile style. I think the best one that's going to go here is watercolor. So let's see how does that look. Oh, I'm supposed to add my tiles to the map and not to the GeoJSON function. So let me do that to our base map. All right. I think that looks pretty good. Now we have a nice overview of all the rivers that are present on our world map. That is what a GeoJSON overlay looks like. So now for our TopoJSON file format, we are going to plot all the states of a certain country. Let's just go with India. Why not? I'm going to call upon map. Add the location. Let me again keep the tile styles to watercolor itself. And let me also set a zoom start to 3. Let's see what does a map look like. Alright. This is what a map looks like. I think I'll have to increase the zoom level. So let's make this 6. So let's go ahead and add some boundaries and topology to our map. So for this I have picked up the Indian States TopoJSON file format and because there was no source for it online directly so I downloaded the data locally and uploaded it to Kaggle which is a place for finding data sets and other information that you need for your data science and machine learning projects which you can check out later. But for now you can use this link directly which I'll be adding in the description below. So let's just add Indian States Topo data. Let's call URL first. And this is what a URL looks like. Now, one interesting thing about downloading data set from Kaggle is that you can directly download data using the open data sets library. So I'm going to use that over here. Now I am going to use open data sets to directly download our data set from this URL. Dot download. And I'll pass in the URL here. Here. And this will also ask you for Kaggle key, which you can either generate on your Kaggle profile. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick up mine. Now I'll be having my data set in the file section. To call upon this data, I am directly going to use Python's open function. Let me just find out the path for the file that I've just downloaded. So this is what the files look like within JSON files and this is the one that I'm looking for. So Indian States 2020 compressed topo.json. So that is what our JSON file is. And let's see what does our state topo contain. 
Now to use this as a JSON format, we will have to convert the state topo into a JSON format. So let's just call it again. JSON. We'll use json.load function. And we'll pass in state topo here. So this is what our topo JSON format looks like. And we are going to now plot all of these points on our map. Let me pick this up and let's add our topo JSON function with folium. Let me call upon states topo JSON here. Now, when it comes to topo JSON, we're also supposed to pass an additional argument here, which is the objects argument. So I'm going to pass on this, which is going to be India states 2020 compressed. And let us also provide the name argument, which is topo JSON. Let's add this to our map with the add to map function. And let's run this. Now, I think this zoom is quite a lot. Let me just zoom out a little. Let's make this five. Let me run this again. So that is what our topo json file format contained and and all the boundaries for all the states are pretty clear so that is what geojson and topo json file formats can do for your maps especially when you want to plot any kind of boundaries or any kind of topological features you can directly head over to the internet and find out the geojson or the topo json file format for that specific piece of information that you want to plot and you can come to folium and plot it the way you want to so that is what we had for our today's video. In our next and final video, we are going to be talking about Choropleth maps, which is going to be built up on top of these maps containing JSON data and a combination of Pandas data frame, which we're going to see in our next video itself. So stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe.